When can I jump with a camera on my head? That's a question that we all ask because we're so excited to be able to showcase our skydives to the world. Well, stay tuned because in this video we'll discuss how and when you can jump with a camera. Catherine Bernie from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better skydiver. So if you're new here, consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving. Whether we do gear reviews, informational videos, safety related videos about skydiving, all sorts of great skydiving content, so you don't want to miss those. Since I started this channel, I've had a lot of questions and one of the most common is when can I jump with a camera? And some of the people asking were just about to do a tandem jump. So they were asking as a customer if they could have a camera on their tandem jump. Well now, let me explain when and how you can jump with a camera. Before we start, anytime during the video, feel free to check out the show notes and links down there to have more resources on what I'm talking about in this video. So the first thing to do is to check with your skydiving associations recommendation. So if you're in the States, the USPA association recommends to have a C license. This means to have at least 200 jumps. They also recommend to have a safety release system whenever we jump with a camera, whether it's on the camera or on the helmet. They also say that the jumper needs at least 50 jumps with the actual equipment he's jumping before adding a camera on top of it. If you're in Canada, the CSPA recommends a B license, but with 200 jumps. They also stipulate that the jumper who's about to jump with a camera should be competent in the free fall disciplines he's about to film. So those are the recommendations of the USPA and CSPA associations. Uh, if you have another association in your country, well, you want to check out their recommendations. Uh, that being said, those are recommendations. In the end, it's the role of the drop zone to define their rules. But keep in mind that jumping with a camera can distract you from many important things whenever we skydive. So you want to be aware of that. And whenever you plan to do your first jump with a camera, beer, by the way, well, you want to get briefed by an experienced jumper who's used to jump with a camera. Now, you need to be aware that you are adding a possible malfunction, which is having an entanglement with your cords and the camera that you have on your head. So be prepared for whatever can happen. Now, let's talk about some examples of cameras that you might want to jump with. So what we are seeing the most is small action cameras because you cannot play with the settings while you're in free fall and you want something small enough so that it doesn't affect your flying or doesn't get dangerous in possible entanglements. One of the most popular camera that we see on skydivers are the GoPro cameras. So there's many type of those, you all know them, but uh, those are great cameras to jump with. And usually what you want to make sure is that you have a case. Uh, those are the waterproof cases that you can use. And those are really useful because you got to consider that there's going to be a lot of winds. And um, also in case of something happens, you want it to be protected. Another interesting feature that you might want to have on your camera is a wide angle view because this way, wherever you are in the sky and with your partners who's jumping with you, well, you'll be able to always have them in frame. That way you're making sure that you're going to be able to see your buddies in the sky. You might also have seen other cameras like the Sony action cam. It's becoming more and more popular. I've not tried it yet, but uh, I've heard that it's a good camera and you can also find some cases to go around it just like for the GoPro. But in the end, we simply want to film the skydive. That being said, I did talk about the GoPro, but there's a lot of replica that you can use that are way cheaper than a GoPro and they are doing a great job anyways. So we don't care about the sound because anyways, you're gonna only hear during your skydive because of the wind. So you don't care about the sound quality. So if you can find a good replica of the GoPro uh, online with a wide angle view and good quality of video, well, you're good to go with that as well. And also you can always find some waterproof cases just like this one for those type of cameras. So now, 
how to mount them safely on your skydiving camera. The first thing you want to consider is to avoid to the maximum any possible entanglement with the camera you have. So whether it's on your head or chin mounted, you want to make sure that no cord can get stuck in them. This is why often you're going to hear about snag resistant camera mounts. And I'm not saying snagless for a reason, because someone once told me that there is no such thing as a perfect snagless camera mount. And I agree with that, because anything can really happen. So for that matter, we're gonna say snag resistant. In brief, what it means is that when you have a camera mount, well, if you cannot stuck any cord all around the mount, well, it helps in terms of snag resistance. So if in fact the camera mount was like this, where you can see a space here, well, this is a place where a cord can slip into and get stuck. So that wouldn't be the best snag resistant camera mount. But in that case, it's supposed to be really tight and so there's no cord who can entangle there. And by adding the camera case here, well, we're making sure all around it that no cord can get stuck. So that's a pretty good snag resistant camera mount. So that's the first thing you want to look for. And the second thing is to have a release system. So the most common thing that we'll see on skydivers are open face helmet with cutaway handles. So the goal with that safety system is that if something happens and something gets entangled with the camera, they can only pull that cutaway handle and all the helmet with all the camera gear will go away with the parachute. If you're jumping with an open face helmet, that's the best route to go for. But more and more people are jumping with cameras on their full face helmet. So we are starting to see some systems to cut away a full face helmet. The thing is those systems, well, when you have a pretty tight full face helmet, even though you can release the chin strap, well, you still have to push your helmet away. This is why I found really interesting when a company was able to provide a camera release system, meaning that if I have my full face helmet, I can just release the camera on my head. This way I'm making sure that the camera can just go away pretty fast and I'm actually keeping my helmet. So not long ago I did an unboxing video talking about that specific camera mount from Colette Tech, it's the ProCut 2, so uh, I'll link it up right here. What I like about their system is that it has a cutaway on the camera and you can still have the camera on the top of your head, which is the usual camera placement that we see nowadays. But another system is becoming popular on the market where the cutaway system is also on the camera, but it's a chin mounted camera setup. Those system helps you to have a release system on only the camera. I've not seen or try in real life those camera mounts, but it can be interesting as well. The only thing is that we're not used yet to have the camera on our chin and you cannot have all types of camera I guess. It would be preferable to have a smaller camera type just like the GoPro session for example. All right so again check out the description below to get some more information and also links to the gear I've talked about and while you're down there let me know in the comments if you're jumping with a camera and if you have a release system on it. Nice so I hope you've liked this video give it a thumbs up if so and consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving where we do gear reviews, skydiving skydiving safety as well, so you don't want to miss any of those. On that, I tell you, keep jumping, stay safe, and blue skies. Oh.